Namaste, my kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm wishing you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity at this time. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments down below. This reading is for the sign of Virgo. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Alrighty. I remember this is general. So if you're wanting a little something a little more intimate and private, you're welcome to book a reading with me. My information will be in the description box. Leo. I'm sorry. Oh, Leo. I just did Leo's reading. So that's probably why that came out. Or some of you may be dealing with the Leo. But Virgo, before we hop into your reading, I'm going to hop into the download that I got for you all. Okay, Virgo, you may be in a very nostalgic mood. You may be reminiscing about your childhood or in a childlike energy. Take this time to do something that allows you to tap into your imagination and put you in a serendipity energy. Ooh, I love that. So for the month of January, Virgo, some of you may be reminiscing about your childhood or maybe reminiscing about someone from your childhood. It could be a parent, um, could be a relative, a friend. All right. So just keep in mind or keep that in mind. All right. Sorry about that. Let me adjust myself. All right. So before I hop into the love portion, I'm going to do general and then we'll see what's going on with you in love for january all right general messages please for virgo virgo the virtuous one <laughs> FYI, the cards have been just flying out of my hands today. So please forgive me for that if that happens in this reading as well. All right. General messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right. So we have Ten of Wands, okay? Some of you may be um, dealing with a lot at this time, carrying a lot of the weight, um, maybe in your home life, in a relationship, or in regards to uh, work. We have the Empress. That may be why. Okay, the Empress handles everything, but the Empress handles it with grace. Um, some of you may be dealing with the Libra, okay, or maybe some of you are on the cusp. All right. Oh, then we have the Queen of Pentacles. There you are. And wait a minute. Let me pause. Let me pause for the cause. Can we take a look at the Queen of, of Pentacles in this deck? She is freaking beautiful. Wow. Hmm. So I feel like a lot of you may be taking this time right now to focus very closely on your money. All right, you want to keep a close eye on your money. I feel like that may be why the Ten of Wands is here because maybe some of you may be feeling that your money is dwindling or you have too much to handle or too much to bear and you're not sure that your finances will be able to keep up with what you have going on. But you'll be just fine. You're going to be great. You're going to be perfect. And I also get the energy of you're going to be having someone come in to assist you with all that you have going on. But with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, Oh, you're very well taken care of. You're handling shit with grace, okay? You don't have anything to worry about, Virgo. All right. Additional messages. I also got the energy. A lot of you will be just um, lounging at home, okay? Um, very comfortably, okay? On um, You guys have, or you guys like to have a lot of pillows on your bed or in your living room or wherever you like to lounge comfortably, Um you're kicking your feet up. We have the devil card here, okay? Some of you may be dealing with the Capricorn, all right? But that may be what's causing a burden for you, okay? Some of you may be needing to release a codependent relationship, 
already or I feel like there's going to be some people trying to attach themselves to you for the month of January Virgo Alrighty, and that's going to cause a burden on you you're looking very good okay you're looking like oh you're looking like cheese to a lot of rats okay and they are going to be trying to attach themselves I also got the energy some of you may be um in a codependent relationship with a substance okay some of you may be doing some type of drug all right we have the four of uh swords here okay but you guys will be getting a lot of rest all right i'm also getting here a lot of meditation i feel like for some of you this is needed especially coming up under the the ten of wands yeah you guys need to take some time out to rest relax rejuvenate okay preserve your energy um virgo for the month of january we're in a whole new year it's time for you to it's time for you to be strategic when it comes to your energy your time your space the people you choose to um be around okay you want to be a little more selective all right then we have the tower and we have the six of pentacles yeah so with the tower here i feel like um you did have to pull away from some people you did have to stop giving so much to certain people already and those people did not take it well i feel like the tower moment was not for you i feel like the tower moment was for those who you had to release okay and you had to pull back from because you were their saving grace period all righty and when you pulled back from them wow all everything went to shit for them all right yeah we have the three of pentacles yeah this could have definitely been a third party situation you guys probably could have been giving to two households or two homes um are dealing with two different people some of you could be dealing with a scorpio and a libra and you pulled away from one of them this could also mean um yeah with the, with the three of pentacles and the devil i'm i'm, I'm getting third party energy for you there you go Alrighty, but some someone had to go. You had to cut somebody loose. All right, so that's the general energy. Let's see what's going on for you in love. What's going on for my Virgo when it comes to love? Let's see. Energy for Virgo for the month of January in regards to love, please. Energy for Virgo. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Wow. So some of you are in a relationship. You're in a very loving and caring relationship. I feel like I just got an energy of like a nice balance here. Alrighty. I feel like whoever you're with or whoever you may come across in January, this person is very, um, is very attentive, okay? They are very, um, what is the word? Chivalrous, okay? Yeah, and I feel like for some of you, you guys haven't had that in a while. A lot of you may have thought chivalry was dead, but this person is going to show you, no, it is not, wow we have new love a new partner has steered your romantic feelings and calling in your soulmates so virgo your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together wow so this could be the one and it's new love it's fresh it's light it's airy it's innocent it's free i love this I feel like you guys are going to meet this person, minding your business. You might be out and about. I don't know. I just, I'm hearing whistling, like literally minding your business, okay? Not even thinking about this because for a lot of you, you are calling in your soulmate. You are uh, manifesting this. But when you, when you do your affirmations, you literally go on about your day. You don't dwell on it. You don't think too hard about it. You know that spirit got you. You know that God got you. Yeah, a lot of you have angels working in your favor, okay? 
Yeah, with the angels surrounding this couple here. Yeah, they divinely brought you together. You guys have been divinely... Um, you guys have been divinely brought into each other's space, okay? We have hand of cards, passion. Wow, we never got hand of cards. Take a chance, risk being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Wow, so a lot of you are going to be choosing to take a risk in this connection, alrighty? But don't give too much, don't show too much too soon, okay? Be very strategic though. Even though you know that you've called in this person, you want to make sure. You don't want to just say, oh, this is it. This is who Spirit has brought to me. Make sure this person is showing you what you have spoke out into the universe that you want in a person. All right? Then we have passion. Insane chemistry. You like each other equally and having fun. Didn't I say that? I'm getting a sense of balance here when this person comes into your life. Okay? I love that. Let's see. Two more messages, please, for Virgo. We have Twin Flame. Wow, this card has been coming out for a lot of the collective. Yin, Yang, Zen, Balance, Union, dual Duality, Coupling, Compliment each other. Yeah, so this person is definitely going to compliment you. All right, this new love that's coming in. All right, it's gonna, you're going to get a sense of great balance when you meet this person. I feel like even right when you meet them, it's like you guys may be walking into a door and you know you step aside just at the right time they pull the door open for you you know what i mean i just literally seen that happen all right all right so then we have not today and date not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person um boundaries and boundaries and still angry yeah so you all maybe like i said releasing somebody you guys could have been dealing with two people or could have been dealing with someone and you're dating you're meeting someone new getting back out there all right you set a date with somebody and you're like not today they're calling your phone they're blowing you up they're texting you and you're literally out on this date and you're like not today like you won't be answering that phone okay <laughs> And I feel like for some of you, that person is going to know when you don't answer. All right. So let's see here. Let's see what you need to surrender, Virgo, for the month of January. All right. What does Virgo need to surrender for the month of January, please? What does Virgo need to surrender? All right. Wow, that's too many. Provide me with one card, please, for what Virgo needs to surrender. Thank you. Surrender to wonder and awe. Okay. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in, a, in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Okay. I love that. So that's your reading for today, Virgo. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I love you all. Ashe.